had, and uh, after we moved it, it got demolished by a winter storm. <sighs> Sorry, been a long day. Okay. everybody, welcome to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and this is my wife. Leah. And, wow, we have been doing quite a bit of projects here on the homestead. We, uh, right here behind us, we uh, fertilized the uh, garden and uh, turned the soil on it. We, uh, we did a, a test last year during the middle of the growing season because we didn't know uh, how our soil was and we found out that it was very deficient. Uh, it was very deficient in all three of the uh, main nutrients that soil needs to help produce fruit. Yeah, that's why we got minimal growth on only a few uh, few things. Yeah. Somewhat thrived enough to where we could enjoy them but others didn't quite make it through. Yeah, so we fertilized it with what uh, the Oklahoma State University Extension Office uh, told us we should do. Uh, they wanted us to use 100 pounds per thousand square foot of 19, 19, 19. And that uh, is what we did here. Uh, so our garden patch has been fertilized completely according to uh, what our uh, agricultural college has uh, uh asked or said that we should do uh, and um, uh, we're getting ready to start working um, getting plants uh, started in in the ground we are I don't know what zone what, what zone are we in we're zone seven we are in zone seven so what does that mean that means our uh, growing season is usually around April so April wait. through June is our growing season you're gonna have to talk louder into the sorry uh, April through June is our typical growing season because we could still have a chance of frost in March. Okay, so we are uh, shooting for uh, plants to be in the ground uh, before before April, really, yeah. but like March, uh, the middle of March. Yeah. So the middle of March. Probably be safe. Um, After uh, uh, our greenhouse got destroyed by a winter storm uh, this year, was it this year? Yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, this year. So we got to rebuild a greenhouse to for our seed starts, and um, we've also worked on our chicken coop build. We uh, actually got chickens moved into it now. We got the run completed, and we have the uh, chicken uh, coop completed on the inside. They have nesting boxes and uh, roosting space in there. So we will we are planning on adding more roosting space to it, but. They are uh, already moved in and uh, enjoying it already. Mm -hmm. So, yep. uh, Leah will give you a tour of that uh, real quick. Okay, here we go. Here is the run. Repurposed a lot of trees from the property. Let's switch hands. And here's some of the hens and our Mr. Cece. Got a little gate going on here. And that's Miss Lily. Right. Right there. She's become our little baby. She's always looking for me. Come on, Miss Lily. Go inside. Okay. We'll come inside the coop. There's a little bit of the view behind me. Got a few tools left out, but we'll get those. Screen. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands again. We're gonna come in. There she is. She's come back to find me. Oh, Miss Lily, come here. She wanted me to hold her. So, yeah, there she be, baby. Hi there. Again, here's the roost being used, and in our little makeshift nesting boxes. Yeah, you want to say hi? Say hi? It's okay. Yeah. I guess I'm her person. You're okay, Missy. You're okay. Anyways, as you can see, we can walk in here. It's huge. Here's another hint. 
Say hi to another hen. Hi. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. Uh-huh. You be nice. But um, uh, the other thing we do is uh, we, uh, we hashed out some uh, baby chicks. Currently we have how many? Seven. We have seven baby chicks and that hatched two, out. And two trying, or two, two on the way, because we haven't quite gotten out of the shell yet. Okay, so yeah. And uh, we plan to put some more in the incubator after these wrap up. To uh, so we can, uh, you know, have more baby chicks. You know, the ch chick. Yeah, if you ever done chicken math, it always multiplies several times, right? Yeah. So, anyhow, uh, we still gotta paint the coop and there's some trim work we have to do to the coop. But beyond that, it's livable. Yeah, it's livable. It's a chicken coop at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it gives them a lot more space. Yes, a lot more space. We still have to do some aerial predator prevention I plan to use some hoops over the run area and then use some bird netting over the top of the run to protect them from aerial 